Shalom. First and foremost, as always, giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And uh, real quick, what I want to do is uh, speak on a topic that happened to us last week at camp. And uh, pretty much this Jake, he came up and, uh, you know, he had a few strange tattoos on his uh, chest and he asked us, were we Israelites? And uh, what we did was we went into it, you know, we went into, uh, you know, how we were Israelites or whatever. And the spirit had got on me to ask him, does he know what the mark of the beast is? Because mainly uh, in these latter times. What we have to do is we have to ask these these Jakes these questions when they come up to the camps, because if they don't know what the mark of the beast is, then they need to be notified. <laughs> Somebody needs to warn them exactly what it is. OK, so the spirit actually jumped on me to to ask this young brother what the mark of the beast was. As you can see me, I'm, I'm explaining it to him now. And uh, I was telling the brothers to get the scriptures on the mark of the beast. Well, actually, I told the brother, Yeshaya, I said, uh, yo, go ahead, man, break it down to him, you know. And then the, you can see the brother Yeshaya breaking it down to him. And then the spirit jumped back on me to uh, <laughs> to explain it to him. You know, and I said, the reason why we got to explain this to you is because you may because uh, Zabak in his camp, H.O.I., they just broke. Uh, they called it Breaking Ground in Buffalo, New York. So they have a camp out here now where we are. But they don't teach that the mark of the beast is the chip. So I told the young brother, I said, you might run into HOI, man. And they're they, they not going to tell you what the mark of the beast is. He said, I, well, I know I know them. I know those guys. I know those guys. So I said, well, you know, they're they not going to tell you that the mark of the beast is, is, is the RFID chip. You know, and I'm not... Uh, we don't hate those guys. You know, we don't hate Zabak. We don't hate, you know, we don't hate them. You know, it's good that they teach teaching that we're Israelites, but it's certain parts of the doctrine that must be taught the correct way. And the RFID chip is one of those pieces. It's a key piece to the, to the puzzle, man. All right. So here it is. We were breaking it down to this young brother with the mark of the beast was, you know, we went into Karagma and when we went into that stigma, it actually said, uh, what was the word it used? To puncture. Okay, when it says uh, this is the number of a man, his number is 603 score and six, it goes into stigma in it. And the brother Gabar read the definition and it said to puncture. So that right there proves that uh, it's a physical mark that Esau wants to insert inside your skin all right so it's very important when these certain individuals come up to the camp all right we have to uh give them the correct doctrine man we have that, that, that that's a must we have to give them the correct doctrine because if we don't then that's blood on our hands and basically what you see us on the highways and the byways what we're doing is we're wiping the blood off our hands because the Most High has programmed us to go out and teach the correct doctrine. And we're forever thankful for that. The scriptures say, because thou hast fully known my doctrine. Like I said, these other camps, they'll tell you that you're an Israelite. They'll tell you that America's Babylon the Great. But when it comes to that RFID chip, for some reason, well, we know the reason. They just they 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 just can't break it down the correct way. All right. Now, there's sincere men amongst these other camps. That's eventually going to come out of that madness, because when Esau mandates this chip to be mandatory, a lot of false leaders are going to have to answer. All right. So when you breaking down Revelations, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse on down, the 15th verse on down. And you're not teaching that it's the, the RFID chip, you're going off. All right. And the water tea, how about Shimia Shai for giving us the correct 
teachers to be able to break this thing down, to be able to see it and accept it, because that's a that's the problem with a lot of these these camps. They can't see it and they can't accept it. it or if they do believe it, they're too proud to say that they were wrong. OK, so it's, it's one or the other, you know, and this was uh we were live. November uh, 8th. So this was like last week, basically last week, a couple of days ago. Today is a uh, Wednesday. So that's about four days ago. And uh, when he left, when his brother left, you can see us uh, speaking to him. When he left, he was edified. And we subscribed him to a few great millstone channels. I gave him the apostles channel. I gave him our channel. And I gave him a few other brothers channels that I watch uh, from around the uh, country. And uh, so he'll get those notifications. If he's a part of the elect, then he'll receive the word. You know, Lord's willing, we're a part of the elect. You know, many are called, few are chosen. But if his eyes are to be opened, then uh, we'll see him most likely see him back at the camp. But if he just brushes it off, then whatever, you know. Because a lot of these guys, what they'll do is they'll come up to the camp, they'll listen, and then they'll leave, and then, you know, everything they learn will just go out the window. But that's basically the, you know, we're marking these guys through the spirit and, well, shall I say, Yahweh Hashem Shai is marking these guys, you know, because they stopped, they heard the word, now it's up to them if they take heed or listen, you know, but my, but when, when this guy left the camp, I told the brothers, I said, hey, we did our job, man. We warned him. We asked him what the mark of the beast was. He didn't know. So we broke it down to him in the scriptures. We went into the Greek. We, you know, he knew he was an Israelite because when he came up, he said, I'm from the tribe of Judah. So he knew he was an Israelite, you know. But the only thing we did was uh, the, the main part we did was broke down that mark of the beast to him with that's a like i said that's a main prophecy in these end times man you know so hey man we were we, we, we were feeding the brother you know feeding them what we could give him and he was edified like i said so hey man we, we, we just got to continue to do our jobs continue to uh uh you know wipe the blood off our hands and uh, Lord willing, we continue in this thing and we stay rooted and grounded and settled, man. And you other camps that's teaching that the mark of the beast is a spiritual mark or is Christianity or something else. then you need to get your damn act together, man. You need to get on board and teach the 100% the, 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 the correct doctrine, man. Or the Lord is going to deal with you in some shape, form or fashion because you're taken away from the book. All right. And I just thought that was important because a lot of guys aren't breaking the mark of the beast down the right way, man. And it, it is 100 percent the RFID microchip or the NFC near field communications. The same thing, basically, man. It's the RFID chip. I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And I believe at this point of the video, I was actually telling them where they want to chip you at. But you can get the chip anywhere, man. If you get it in your butt cheek, you got the mark of the beast. Shalom.